I'm Marcus. I hate for my first show to be a very serious show. Um, yesterday of March 31st, 2019, a very no, a very well-known rapper named Nipsey Hussle was gunned down <clears throat> in front of his uh, the Marathon store that he owns in uh, Los Angeles, California, and uh, he was. Senseless, senselessly gunned down uh, in front of his store while he was around some of his, I guess, his co-workers, if not people that works for him. Um, from what I've heard, from what I've heard and what I've seen and what I've read, uh, it's 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 it, it's it's shaky right now of of why he was shot down. Uh, some speculations that say that he was uh, confronted by a a uh, a gang member that shot him down. Um, there are some conspiracies going out that uh, the government shot him down. Um, there's also some other speculations that he uh, well to add on to the government shooting him down. It's some uh, speculations going around that the uh, government shot him down because he was trying to make a a documentary about a, a well-known uh, holistic doctor that died a few years back. <clears throat> he was well-known in the holistic healing uh, aspects of of medicine. Uh, he cured several illnesses such as HIV, cancers, uh, herpes, and et cetera, et cetera of that of that nature. Um, from what has been shown, which is a couple videos that you can look at, that's on YouTube and certain other media outlets that. You know, you you see you see him getting gunned down. So they say that you know he was he was shot six times. So if when you look at the video, the guy that shot him looked like he was actually dumping uh, every bullet out of the clip, and then he looked like he reloaded and then shot him a couple more times and emptied the clip. So this is what I want to say. If if we if we look at certain things, we look at the you know, uh, if, if when we look at things like that, you know, first thing that we can't do is speculate anything. It looked like a senseless killing. That's number one. It looked like a senseless killing, and we. We don't know why it happened. Like it's it's no it's no way that we can actually know, other than hearing from the people that was actually there to, to tell you the situation. Actually, know the background details about stuff. So you know, it's hard. I'm I'm sure. That his family has gone through it. Um, I heard that his brother's taking it real hard. Uh, he had a celebrity girlfriend uh, by the name of Lauren Lauren London. They had a uh, they have a son together. Uh, his name is Cross, and I'm pretty sure Laura and and the rest of his family are taking it very hard because it's a senseless shooting, and you know. It's, it's it's no reason why stuff like this should be happening anymore. <clears throat> I get into my conspiratorial mind. There's certain things that we see on television and hear in the news, hear on the news and see in newspapers of all these senseless, uh, violent gun uh, things that's going on with. The New Zealand uh, airport shooting, uh, <clears throat> the um, the uh, senseless cop shootings of of black African African American males, 
in Afri African American females, um, the child shootings and stuff like that. It's 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 senseless. We shouldn't we shouldn't be doing this in this day and time. Um, I know me growing up <clears throat> and you know being a young child, I never used to see stuff like this happen ever. Like, um, but it's you know it's it's hard because you know. When when you feel for people, and you know you see things that go on like that, like you know it it can easily hit home. So you don't really want to you don't want you don't want to speculate or get anybody's uh, uh, you don't hurt anybody's feelings or anything. You just you just wanna you just wanna sit back and think about what you know why is this happening and stuff like that. So, along with, you know, the shooting, you know, because, you know, the, the other people in, involved, uh, such as the family, you know, they, they lost a loved one. And I know with that being said, you know, people can feel that and it's like, you know, some some people may have a memory of one of their you know family members being gunned down. I personally have a a family member that was gunned down senselessly by a police officer in the town that I live in, and he, <clears throat> from what they said, he was being uh, combative and he wasn't following orders but you know as long as i know my cousin he's never been that type of person so how is it that you know with with that senseless shooting and his parents having to to bury him and his kids seeing him have to be buried from a senseless shooting there's no reason why that this is still happening now <clears throat> his brother and i'm guessing his parents are still alive uh, nipsey hustle's parents are still alive now, his parents and his siblings and his his wife and his, his son or or children have to bury this man now, and it, it that has to be a very hard situation to to even think of. <clears throat> From what we know, you know, in L.A., you know, gang violence and and gun violence is very prevalent over there um you know we hear it in the music and we hear it you know on the news and stuff like that about LA and you know all of the riots that's happened over there you know it's we we have to we we have to as a people we have to come together like we have to come together in a way to where None of none of this stuff can actually happen. We we have to get to that point. Um. And you know it's 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 very it's very hard. I, I I keep saying it, but it's very hard that we have to sit back and see this stuff all the time on media outlets. Um. So with that being said, this is Marcus speaks and. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'll catch y'all on the next show.